Little People, Big Dreams Taylor Swift Written by Maria Isabel Sanchez Vegara On a farm in Pennsylvania, surrounded by Christmas trees, lived a girl named Taylor. She believed in unicorns and fairy tales, but most of all, she believed in power of songs to tell stories and change the world. Her grandmother was an opera singer, and her parents were also music lovers. One day, her mom and dad took her to a country music concert. Taylor was moved by the sound and the way the artist shared her feelings through her songs. Soon, she was dragging her parents to county fairs, festivals, and karaoke contests jumping on a stage to sing whenever she had a chance. She also took singing and acting lessons and enjoyed performing in local musicals. Yet, school was a lonely place for Taylor. Most students didn't think country music was cool, and a few of them made fun of her cowboy boots. But even though people weren't always there for her, music was and she kept pursuing her dream. Taylor was 11 when she sang and recorded cover versions of her most beloved songs, pouring her heart into every tune. She took her demo to Nashville, the home of country music. There, she realized that to stand out, she needed to find her own voice. Back home, Taylor ran to play the guitar and began writing songs inspired by her own life. The first was called Lucky You. It was about a little girl with a big heart. Soon her head was full of more rhymes, melodies, and lyrics. After being spotted at one of her gigs, Taylor recorded her first album for a record label. She became the youngest person ever to write and perform a number one country song. It was honest, smart, and funny. Everyone loved it. By her 20th birthday, she had released her second album, Fearless. It won her four Grammys, the most prestigious music awards. Taylor's parents were so proud. Her journey to becoming a mega star had just begun. Taylor continued to grow up alongside her fans. She loved to include hidden messages for them in her lyrics and music videos. Before the release of her fifth album, 1989, she invited groups of 89 of them to listen to it and eat cookies at her house. But living in the spotlight can be tough. There was always someone ready to criticize her no matter what she did. It took time for Taylor to learn that the only approval she needed was her own. And once she did, she stood up stronger than ever. She made pop, rock, electronic, and folk music. Yet she also found time to tour the world, direct her own music videos, speak up for what she believed in and care for Meredith Grey, Olivia Benson, and Benjamin Button, her cats. Almost 20 years after writing her first song, Taylor made history as the first artist to hold all top 10 spots on the biggest U.S. music chart. But while her list of records and awards kept growing, being a kind person was still her main goal. And Taylor, the little girl who believed in fairy tales, keeps achieving even her wildest dreams. She is one of the greatest artists of her generation and a friend to millions of fans who feel her music tells the story of their own life. Taylor Allison Swift was born in Pennsylvania into a music-loving family. 
She was named after the singer-songwriter James Taylor, who she performed with years later. As a child, she loved running around the Christmas tree farm where she lived. After attending a Lee and Rhymes concert, Taylor found her passion for music. At age 11, she recorded a demo of cover songs and delivered her CDs to record labels. Although she wasn't offered a deal, she was encouraged to keep trying. Soon after, she learned to play the guitar and started writing songs. Taylor fell in love with crafting lyrics and her teachers even found them scribbled inside her notebooks. At 14 years old, she was spotted while gigging at Bluebird Cafe in Nashville, Tennessee, and later singed with Big Machine Records. Six studio albums followed, including the hit singles Love Story, Shake It Off, and Bad Blood. When her masters were sold without her permission, Taylor decided to take back ownership of her art and re-record all six albums with a new record label, adding unreleased songs. In her 2020 documentary, Miss Americana, she spoke about learning to care for her mental health and using her voice for good. Taylor passionately believes in dignity for all people, no matter their skin color, gender, or who they love. In 2022, after releasing her 10th album, she announced the Eras Tour. Each show celebrated her musical journey, enchanting Swifties across the world. Taylor's story reminds us to be fearless in the pursuit of our dreams. The end.